Many of the plants on the Hinsey Hall ceiling have been used historically by women, developing and exchanging their botanical and scientific knowledge. These include plants used by women around the world to make choices about their reproductive rights. There are two panels on the Hinsey Hall ceiling of the aloe genus and one of its species, Aloe Socotina. Many species of aloe contain chemicals that cause very strong reactions in the body and their former use in traditional medicines has included prevention and termination of pregnancies. European nations started to establish colonies across the Caribbean from the late 1400s to broaden their empires and boost their economies. Europeans brought plants with them, including the aloe species. Aloe was grown to be sold in European markets as a laxative and purge. People from West Africa were forcibly transported to the Caribbean to work on plantations and farms. Many women in West Africa were already familiar with aloe and knew about its powers to prevent pregnancy. Using aloe internally had considerable risks, including death. At the time, British colonial law declared that children born to enslaved mothers would themselves be enslaved. Despite the very real risks, many women still chose to induce abortions. It was a very powerful form of resistance against the violence of slavery. In the early 1700s in Jamaica, plantation owner, doctor, and Royal Society fellow, Henry Barham, learnt about the anti-fertility properties of aloe. We don't know exactly how he gained this knowledge, but it is likely it came from the enslaved people who worked on his plantation fields. Barham relayed some of this botanical knowledge back to Europe in a letter to physician and collector Hans Sloan. By the 1800s, aloe was the main ingredient used in a domestic medicine popular in North America and Europe. Although sold as a laxative and a purge, it was commonly used to induce abortions or to terminate pregnancy. Today, researchers are interested in the potential of aloe as an anti-fertility botanical. Although aloe is used in other parts of the world, it has yet to be clinically tested. Stories like this reveal how women from across the globe have used traditional medicine to manage their fertility and how this knowledge still remains relevant today.